Hello everyone, today I'm going to take you through the uh, Nelga Land Data Hub. Basically, we refer to it also as Land Nelga Land Data Portal. But before I get to the portal, which is uh, being displayed uh, through this URL at the moment in my screen, uh, I'll just like to take you through a little presentation to give an overview of what uh, Nelga is all about. So to begin with, what is Nelga? Uh, Nelga, Nelga stands for a network of excellence on land governance in Africa. Uh, that is uh, the meaning of NELGA. So the African Land Policy Center established NELGA with the objectives of strengthening human and institution capacity for the implementation of the African Union Agenda on Land. And NELGA is a partnership of leading African universities and research institutions with proven leadership in education, training, research uh, on land matters on uh, land governance. NELGA aims to promote research in the field of land governance and to provide necessary data to support government policy and uh, program implementations as well as monitoring. So this uh, project has been implemented through the support of GIZ, that is the German Corporation. And uh, NELGA targets mostly researchers and policy makers. So those are our targeted end users. And it has three main objectives. So the first one is to accumulate country and regional specific uh, sources of land related information. And guide and uh, and guide the users in obtaining this information. It also provides necessary data to monitor government policy and program implementation in the land uh, sector. It also enables researchers across the continent to carry out applied research to inform policy dialogue. So, and back to the viewer, I just want to give you a quick preview of the Nelga Land Data Hub. So, this is a the landing page, this is the landing page of the Nelga Land Data Hub. And as you can see, we have the main uh, menu here, comprising of uh, various uh, items. We have articles, we have indicators, we have documents, we have links, we have special data country. And uh, this is like a help tool, it's called uh, Frequently Asked Questions. And then you have language, you can always be able to interchange between the two, that is French and English. So articles are mainly, uh, documents that have been written by various authors and if you click on articles you'll be able to get a link of uh, various documents that are land related and you can be able to download those links uh, you can always be able to see who the author is and what that information is all about uh, we have specific indicators here those indicators indicate mostly uh, various uh, parameters that are used to uh, basically categorize various land related uh, information we have documents, these are mostly images, PDF files that are also land related. We have links to specific online resources that are also land related. We have spatial data, a main one of the main components of the land data hub, uh, spatial data sets. We have administrative boundaries, we have land use, land cover data, etc. And then we have the main countries that we're working with. At the moment, we're working with four countries that is Senegal, Kenya, Senegal, sorry, uh, Tanzania. Rwanda and Botswana. So I'll just try to give a quick preview of this uh, portal, the way it looks. So this is the landing page. You can be able to search for specific things here. This is an arbitrary search uh, button here. You can be able to just quick, do a quick search. For instance, you can just type the name of a country here and then see what is going to come. Uh, we have what is the latest information that is on the portal it comes here. We have uh, latest documents all the way down. And then the last bit of it, you can see those uh, latest links that have been included, important links that we have. And then uh, we have latest partial data also. Uh, we have indicators, those are uh, like uh, parameters. And then we have our partners. Uh, the main countries that we are working with, that is Senegal, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Botswana. And uh, the last, on the footnote of the page, you can see we have the, the main partners that are implementing this project. We have RCMID, we have German Corporation and GIZ. Uh, and uh, I think uh, from the link here, you can be able to find our partners. And that is good enough. So just let's try to just do a quick search using uh, the articles uh, menu. So if you click on the articles, it gives you, it takes you to this subcategory here. We have uh, other 
ways through which you can be able to search your documents. You can search by theme, maybe search by location, etc. We don't have a lot of articles at the moment, so we don't need to do a very refined search. So you can just do with what exists. But as you can see, you can be able to just quickly see the type of articles that have been uploaded. Like this one has even a thumbnail. So if you click on the articles, you can be able to see who the authors are. Here the authors are listed here. It also comes with a bit of metadata and that is uh, like uh, providers information, themes, categories, countries that uh, those uh, that article is covering, the keywords, and then we have also the abstract part of the of the art, uh, uh, of the article so that it can give a user some quick information of what that is all about. So basically that's all about the articles. We also have uh, spatial data here. I think this is quite important. Let me just quickly go through the spatial data. So if you click on the spatial data, you can be able to also do a quick search. Sorry for that. You can be able to do a quick search uh, on, on, the, um, on the kind of spatial data set that we have in the portal or in the hub rather. Again, we have this search window here which can allow more refined searches. But at the moment we don't have a lot of data, so we're just going to use a specific country. And one of the main, uh, one of the priority countries that we have implemented this project is Rwanda. So I can just click on Rwanda here to just showcase what we have. And I can see we have about three data sets for Rwanda. At the moment we don't have a lot of data because we are planning to have a sensitization uh, workshop in the coming few, few weeks where we'll be showcasing this portal to our countries and uh, we'll be training them on how to upload data and uh, articles and documents that are land related in nature. So basically that's what we have for Rwanda. We have um, about three data sets here. These are mostly sample data that we're just putting for, for, for sharing for information purposes only. I can just give an overview of uh, using the land administrative boundary uh-huh it also has other information you can see we have title we have it indicates the date time that uh, the, the the data set were uploaded and who also uploaded the data and a user can also be able to download the data and that's quite important uh, for such kind of uh, portals so you can see there's something small here that's uh, showing so maybe i can just zoom to layer so that i can be able to have a good preview of the layer and again, what else? I think I can be able to change the base maps here. It's a functionality to change the background. You can see different uh, base layers. Yeah, and then I can also be able to print my map. So this is quite good enough. So this is just a quick preview of uh, the spatial data menu and what it has in place. So I'm just going to give you a chance also to check through all the other ones see what we have under documents see what we have under articles country yeah it's quite interesting you can filter out um, information by just clicking on different countries for instance Botswana here and then I can be able to just see what exactly do we have under Botswana so let's just go through that we have indicators and spatial data uh -huh. and then it zooms to I think uh, okay that's just a whole map etc so that is good enough so how do you how do you join us how do you contribute to this effort you can always be able to click on this and uh, upload articles documents and share your spatial data if you have a chance to if you're willing to and we're always encouraging people who are uh, land policies and those who are interested in land related area to upload their data and articles and documents it can be scientific papers it can be a research uh, document uh, it can be data that was produced through uh, given land related uh, efforts so it's always good to contribute and that is uh, a good platform where you can be able to share data so you should be able to log in at least register first before you log in and then you're going to give users permissions to do that so well basically that's all we have for today I think uh, in case of anything, feel free to conduct uh, RCMID um, 
uh, GIT group so that uh, we can be able to join you up in this effort. Thank you very much and have a good day.